This is my first time through the game. Also, welcome. FR4, good to have you here. Actually, I should probably call you Fragnarok. I believe that's what your name is supposed to be saying. Yo, beauty, they give the gifted sub to Toki. Welcome back, Toki. I am already having a blast. I'm absolutely loving it. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, look at Whoa! Is this PS5? Did you see those graphics? Is that ray tracing? Those guys have like 4 HP. <laughs> that would literally add 1. That would 1 HP. Look at, look at that. That looks so cool. I tell you, man. I, I might be alone. I might be alone in saying this, but... The Super Nintendo upscaled through the correct upscaling looks better than, like, some PS3 games. <laughs> you know? Like, not literally, because obviously there's more to a PS3 game. But some PS3 games, like look so blurry and gross on like modern uh modern setups and you can't upscale them any more than they're already upscaled but like the super nintendo through the right system looks so crisp like i have seen many i mean probably all of them honestly like 99% of retro-looking games on the PSN store look worse than this. Seriously. I, like, I'm not... That's not even a joke. Most retro-style games on the PlayStation store look nowhere near as good as this. They, they all have that weird blurriness to them. I'd take this any day over half those games. I was talking about it before, Frag, but ba this, this game is the first one that I really feel like is a Final Fantasy. Like, they really hit their stride with this one. It, it feels Final Fantasy-like. The other ones feel like they were trying to figure out what Final Fantasy was going to be. Like, it, it, it felt like they were still trying to figure out the identity of Final Fantasy. This is the first one that really feels like they started Final Fantasy, you know? Th they found their identity with this one. Oh, I know why it's called Final Fantasy. By the way, if you're new to the show, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to type in exclamation mark Fantathon to check out the entirety of Fantathon, what we've done, what's coming, all that good stuff. That's, a, that's an alligator, by the way. If only they had kept the name Fighting Fantasy, this game would be so much better. <laughs> yeah, I love that it's just called Alligator. Like, that, nah, you just ran into an alligator. Realism at its finest. I'm all about realism in my games, you know? I say is I cast a magical fire blast at an alligator. I 
Oh, you fight mo like animals all the time. My, I think my favorite example... I, I, I've told this story before, but... I had a buddy... Me and my buddy bought Final Fantasy XII at the same time. And we were playing, like, next to each other. We had the old, you know, the nice LAN set up where we, I was sitting at my console and he was sitting at his console. We had two TVs and we were both playing it side by side. And I remember my buddy bought the hammer weapon right off the bat and gave uh, Vaughn the hammer and I was using like a dagger and the first the first area you go to there's an enemy that's just straight up a wolf I think it's a wolf like that's all it's just a wolf like it's just regular wolf and, the, and we were both fighting the wolves and I look over on his screen and on my screen Vaughn has a dagger and he's like you know attacking the wolf as you do right I look over to my friend's screen and Vaughn's just smashing the wolf with a hammer. Just BAM! Die, wolf! Back in your back! Back, wolf! Just smashing him with a hammer. And I remember I made fun of him for that for like the whole playthrough of the game. Like every time we go to a new dungeon, I'm like, hey, remember that time you bashed that wolf's head in with a the hammer? <laughs> You're such a terrible person. Uh, <laughs> you really didn't need to be that violent. It was the first enemy in the game, dude. Calm down. <laughs> I just like, I razzed him about it the whole playthrough. <laughs> All gas, no brakes, that's right. Holy cow, that weapon is big strong. Probably still does no damage to the zombies though. You bought Vaughn the gun. <laughs> Just walk up to a to a wolf. Bam! We're not in fantasy land anymore. Did she just Was that Rydia that attacked? Was that like 94 damage from Rydia? What? I think I missed something. I think that would maybe that was Tella. Or maybe not. Iridia just brought the damage all of a sudden. Nice rod, big strong. I mean, look at her flexing. You know she's strong, look at her. Oh my god, dude, holy cow. Give Iridia the hammer. She does almost as much damage as Cecil. In back row. Big bonk. Uh, so, to catch up people that are new, uh, we've played through 1, 2, and 3 so far for Phantathon. Um, this game, I've never played. 5, I played about 5 or 6 hours, but like 10 years ago, so I don't remember anything about it. 6, I've never played. 7 is my life. <laughs> I'm a big 7 content creator. I have been for 13 years. Um... Eight, I've played several times and beaten. We did a playthrough of the remaster as well just a little bit ago. Uh, nine, I grew up on. I've beat it several times, but I haven't beat it in a while. Uh, ten is my second favorite Final Fantasy. I've beaten it many times and done challenge runs of it. Uh, Eleven, I've never played. Twelve, I beat when I was a kid and played a lot of, but I haven't played in a while. Thirteen, I beat when, I, when it came out. I haven't really played much since. Fourteen, never played. 15 is one of my least favorite games ever created, but I did beat it when it came out. And that should catch you up on all my Final Fantasies. But yeah, the big thing is that I never played 4 or 6. I didn't grow up with a Super Nintendo. Um, we kind of skipped over Super Nintendo as a family. I bought an NES. My, my dad had an NES when we were a kid, when, when I was a kid. Not when he was a kid. When I was a kid. Uh, and then my brother had a Genesis, but we only had like two games for it. And then our family went through quite a rough time when the Super Nintendo was out. So we didn't buy any of that. We just played NES and our two games on Genesis. 
And then a couple years later, my dad bought me a PS1 with Final Fantasy VII. And that was when I got into video games. Uh, Final Fantasy VII alone got me into video games. And so from then on, I played you know, a good amount of them after that. But I missed out on Super Nintendo. Not only Final Fantasy, but pretty much the entirety of Super Nintendo. And since then, I've gone back and played some Super Nintendo games, but I really missed out on, on 4 and 6. And that was a big reason why I wanted to do Final Fantathon, a quest to casually let's play every single Final Fantasy game. Not just because I made a huge Final Fantasy following with Final Fantasy 7 content, but because I missed out on 4 and 6, and I've always wanted to go back and play them in like a casual way. So, this 1 and 6 are the big ones that I want to experience. Uh, 5 also, because I played a couple hours of it and then never played again, so I've always had this feeling like I needed to finish 5, you know? Um, but yeah, a big part of Fantathon is definitely this 1 and 6. We can go out from here. The monster is in the cave just beyond there. We should camp to regain our strength out there. Okay. I'm not... I don't need to camp. Yeah, in 4 Fantathon, we're playing all the original releases, so we will be playing the Super Nintendo version of 6, but I'm totally up for playing other versions of it in the future. Yep, same Monkey Wrench. Not only was it my first Final Fantasy, but it was my first RPG and my first real, like, game that I cared about and played a lot. Before that, I had played, like, Super Mario, and, and Mario 3 was probably the biggest game I had played up to that point. But it was really just a game I played with, like, my cousins and stuff. Um, and my brother had a Genesis, and we had, like, Sonic 2. That was probably, like, the biggest game on Genesis that we played. We had, like, Sonic 2 and, like, a few beat-em-ups, and that was it. Uh, including Cyborg Justice, the greatest name of any game ever. <laughs> um, I don't know what these other saves are. They were on the... Uh, they were on the cart, so I'm not going to look at them, uh, but they were just on the cart. I bought the cart used, obviously, so it had some saves on it. All right, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in just a second. All right. Time for uh, tennis balls. It's down here. We're dead. tennis balls yet. Game over. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. How's it going, Todd? When we beat the game, we should load the other saves. Yeah, maybe. See what kind of nonsense is going on there. You ever go back to your old saves, like on old memory cards, when you played as a kid and think like, what the heck was I doing? <laughs> I did that uh, the other day on a Final Fantasy VII save. I loaded up a Final Fantasy VII save and I was like, what even was I thinking? Darkness. Not you. Now I'm guessing they can't equip any of the darkness or the shadow stuff, right? You can equip a regular camp, though. I'm 
much item space I have. Quite a bit, but it's probably going to fill up faster than I think. I like how Cecil's whole, like, set of armor is just chilling down in this random cave. We found the tentacles. He's coming! Oh, we got played. Octo-ma-mom. Octo-ma-mom. octo ma octo ma Is that like... Is that like Octo-dad's wife? octo ma <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, I can only attack him as- oh my god, he's so big. Oh my god, that damage. Okay, uh, Venom. Fire. Wow, epic. That Venom sure did a lot. Lost a tentacle. Oh, the cure wasn't too bad. What'd I do? Fire? I mean, you'd think lightning would be the thing to use, but. Eh, it's okay. Let's try the ice rod. Lightning only. That face. Quick, he's weak to damage. It's the only way. Tentacles left. Good job. He's slowing down. You sure. We have MP for one more of those. Try attacking. No. Oh. <laughs> What's going on with this right eye? <laughs> His right eye is kind of like. Kind of weird looking. Wow, this last tentacle. I think, I think he might just be... I think this last tentacle might just be his whole life bar. Which means... We gotta bring the damage. hi -ah! Had to finish it with Chocobo. Now we can go to Dam Cyan from behind this waterfall. It leads to the exit. And he really does have the strategy guide in his pocket, doesn't he? I mean, his name is Tella. It only makes sense. Sandman. What is this, Metallica?
Dude. Freaking cutscene. This is the most epic game I ever played. You guys alright? Oh. They took the crystal! That fast? It's more like they just bombed it. How'd they take the crystal? <laughs> Oh, they left this for me. Aha! Shows them. There is a pot of recovery above. Okay. That is Anna! Ah! Ah! Anna! You're the bard! You did this to her! Yeah, no, it wasn't the giant bombing. <laughs> Nicely timed to eat. You swindler! Please, listen! Tell ain't listening. He only tells. You spoony bar! <laughs> Please! You gave him the old spoon. I hate to see it. Shut up! Listen! Pretty good. <laughs> Shut your mouth! I... I... Please, stop! Are you all right? Father, Edward is the Prince of Damsayan. He was disguised as a bard when he came to see me in Kaipo. Forgive me, Father, for running away. But I love Edward. We thought of asking for your consent, but when you were about to leave, we were about to leave, Golbez attacked us with Baron's red wings. Who is that man? I don't know. But why? He took our crystal of fire, and Anna shielded me from the arrows. You loved him that much. Father, forgive me. I love Edward. Anna! 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 Who is Golbez? I heard that he's gathering crystals using Baron's red wings. Stop crying! Your tears won't bring back Anna! Wait for me, Golbez. I'm coming to avenge my daughter! You can't go alone! I don't need any help. This is my own affair. Tell left. <laughs> that he did. Ah, Anna. Cry, baby. Wow, get wrecked. You are a man. You are a grown up. You are not the only one who has lost loved ones. Radio, Pretty calm, good. Calm down. <laughs> you may be right. I'm just a coward. But I don't care. I'm staying here with Anna. There's <laughs> a lot of tough love in this game. You're not the only one who is sad, Edward. Besides, Anna won't be happy if you do that. We really need your help. Please come with us. My help? I am Cecil. I'm looking for the Sand Ruby to help my friend who is ill in Kaipo. And I need your help. I? Help you? Yes, you. She seems to be a... She seems to be a yeet. She seems to be an important person. You shouldn't lose your loved one. The Sand Ruby is made from the antlion when it lays its eggs in the cave. The cave is in the east. But we must go across shallows to get there. There is the hovercraft and dam cyan we can use. We can also go to Kaipo through the shallows. Didn't, didn't this whole place get bombed though? Let's hurry! Like, 
Are we sure that the hovercraft is still functional? Goodbye, Anna. Wow, you made her disappear. Good going. Oh. Okay. I guess... <laughs> I guess the hovercraft is operational. Oh my god, look at Edward's picture. What is he, freaking Vincent? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dreamer. He's like, oh, life. your special ability hide where so what are the shadows aha why can I cross that but not this I guess there's like one block that's water also are there no fights on this thing because that actually be really nice okay so that's probably the cave This is some kind of mountain. Mount Hobbs West. That looks like it's going to be closed off. Candy Mountain. He said I can get back to... Huh. He said I could get back to Kaipo, but I don't see how. I don't want to go back to Kaipo. I was just curious as to what he was talking about because I don't see how you do it. Oops. Okay, I wanted to save, but sandworms first, I guess. Alright, Edward, let's see what you got. Oh my god, he literally does have an ability called hide. That's pretty great. Lullaby. I don't... That, that didn't seem to do anything. I wonder if I should put him in the back row. I feel like I should. I just realized there's five spots. <laughs> I just realized this. There's five spots. Yes, no mechanical spoilers, please. But how's it going, uh, Final Hero? It's good to have you here. How the heck do I get this chest? Oh, I see. It's under, <laughs> it's under the bridge. Those are imps. Those look like goblins to me. Hide. <laughs> it's, just, it's just gone. It's like jump, but without the damage. Show. Hello. It's me, Edward. If I hide, 
do I have to show next turn? Or can I, like, parry? You can just parry from hide forever. <laughs> It'll never come back. He doesn't even come back to celebrate. He's just gone. He's invincible. He's the best character. Okay. Uh, this is a bit of an upgrade from the imps. <laughs> Holy cow. Give him a nice sing. Lullaby. Hey, seriously, what? Your sing is not doing much. That is a terrifying turtle. That's gotta be like the scariest turtle uh, sprite I've seen. At least he can attack from the back row. Doesn't do much damage, but... I should really go back and buy... Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if I'd equip the, the bow now. I like having the ice rod. And I think it has to be equipped for me to use it. Hey, 60 might be low, but it's double what Rydia had. Rydia started with 30. Cannot use. Is too lame. Can't use. <laughs> 9 damage. Okay, hide it. She was level one. That's true. Fell asleep? Wait. So my attack put him to sleep, but my sing didn't? like hard games? Well, seeing as though I've done challenge runs for like 13 years. Yeah. Hard games tend to be my favorite. And the hard part of games tend to be my favorite parts of the games. I enjoy a challenge. And I find a lot of times I'll edit my experience to make them harder if I feel like they're too easy. You know, like if I find something broken in a game, sometimes I won't use it, kind of thing, until I have to. I don't always do that, but sometimes I do. Dungeon feels like a bit of an optical illusion. It's hard to tell, like, that that's the right side is higher than the left side. If you look at it from a distance, it makes sense, but when you're standing there, it almost looks like you're not higher. Imp Captain! Edward is just a worse jig Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, but cuter, am I right? Uh, 
Yeah, like I said, I don't mind the encounter rate as much in this game because the fights are pretty fast-paced and there's no loading. But I still feel like the encounter rate is a bit much. It's a bit hard to explore when I'm getting so many encounters. That's probably the only, like, negative thing I can say so far. And it's not, like, that big of a deal, it's just... If I had to come up with a negative so far, the encounter rate's a bit much in these dungeons. I keep forgetting where I'm at, because every three feet I get an encounter. <laughs> Still not as bad as one, but... Worse than... Worse than three was. Probably worse than two, also. Nothing beats one, but... Yeah, but see, that doesn't, like, to me, what should happen is that there should be less encounters and they give you more experience. You know, if I were to go back and, and change the game, because I don't think anyone enjoys this many random encounters. I, I think people enjoy grinding up to a point, but if there were just a bit less encounters and they gave you more experience, it would be a better experience overall. But a lot of these older ones have high encounter rates in order to make the games longer. Also... <laughs> can we quit? Oh, that's weird. You can pause during an attack and the attack still goes off. That's strange. Can we, uh... I'd like to do something real quick if you don't mind. Wanna have this for for future reference? Can we just enjoy this for a second? This face. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realize the face until I looked again, but that like straight line and then just dot 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 <laughs> that's pretty great Thriller arms. Oh my god. I get four steps. Honestly, his attack puts enemies to sleep pretty often. It's pretty useful. steps and then two steps. Excellent. life. Okay, there's a door here, a secret passage there that's incredibly obvious. 
and then something to the left. What's in here? Okay, good. This is a dead end. Ooh. You've had this weapon for like five seconds. Here's a new one. It's a secret he passed. Don't tell anyone. Charm. I figured that's what it did, because it's called Charm. Will my basilisk attack my turtle? Oh, nope, turtle's dead. Will he attack himself? Doesn't look like it. He's just gonna stand there with his goofy eye. What's up to Irish? Happy New Year, man. Secrety path. Oh my god, I didn't even go anywhere. What? What is the purpose of this? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda liking Edward. He is pretty useful. Yo, Blackheart! How's it going, man? Happy New Year. You think this Doom mod is weird? You should have seen the Doom mod where we played the whole game upside down. <laughs> that was an experience. Including the music. The music was also upside down. <laughs> it was something. How's it going, spam? I don't think there's. Yeah, that's. Okay. Yeah, the sprite work is really good. And this isn't remastered sprites, this is OG sprites, and they look better than the two remastered sprites. Alright. Cream? I'm fighting Cream? What would cream be weak against? Ice? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, 13 years ago when I came up with the name, it was it stood for Forget the Haters. Nowadays, it's just 4-8, but that was the original thought behind it. I should have used lightning. So this fight's going well. Edward, hide! Found it. The weakness has been found. Cream is weak against lightning. Oh, thank goodness. I needed that. I'll be honest, I don't really ever use tents in like any RPG ever. I don't know why, it just, I seem to never use tents. I always just go back to the town and rest. But, uh, I'm getting the use, I'm getting use out of these tents. They also give you a healthy supply, which is nice. 
But I, I saved, right? Yeah. Dead end? Huh. Oh my god. There's too many random encounters. How's it going, Toaster? Going Sinus. How do I know the lyrics? I made this. So. Oh wait, maybe maybe that, maybe that right there. I played you all. I was Craig the whole time. Antlion's a nest. Yep. I think this be it. Interesting that you could, like, miss the save point. You have to go out of your way to find the save point. That's kind of cool, though. How's it going, Joel Den? I still love the, the intro to the fight song. The little bass line before the song starts. Like I said, it reminds me of Legend of Gaia. It gets me like pumped every time. Like, oh yeah. Except when it's like the 19th random encounter in the last two seconds. Also, she just attacked it. She, he just attacked itself. Tornado flame? 